Recording in progress. Here we go, everybody. Today we have Yasmin Mendeiros. Is Mendeiros? Yeah, it's Mendeiros, but you can call me Costa. I prefer Costa. Yasmin Costa. <laughs> oh, you are Costa. I yes. Was, I was trained by Caroline Costa. Do you know her? Oh, no, I don't. The Costa. Is, is she family. Brazilian or Portuguese? Something like that. No, she's Brazilian, but uh, she's a special woman, you know? She... She's mm. an entrepreneur. She was my English teacher. She taught oh. a lot of things that I know today. And the Costa nickname, the last name to me, sounds like strong name, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's also to me, it's just, I, I know a lot of people that has this the same surname and they are very special to me. Um, yeah. Well, so <laughs> I'm going to show you her, who's her, actually. We are Please not that related. So. We're not that related today, but if you can like search for things about her, she has a uh, channel called Inspirando Campeões. She's a millionaire today. Campe. Wow. Yeah, it's like really millionaire. She has invested on her mind one million only on courses. You know, she's been part wow. of. Uh, she's been part of Anthony Robbins' crew, and she had. Uh, a Fisk franchise, that's the girl, that's the woman we're talking about. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'll follow her. She's fucking, like, awesome. I love her. I, a lot of things that I know today, I learned from her. Well, who's talking? Is it into your house? No, I think it's Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Nice <laughs> nice to see you here with <laughs> us. All right, all right. I found out it is muted. It's okay. If you want to, if you want to search, like, the source of the, you know, knowledge that i i have today that's the girl she taught me english at first then she left fisk and started teaching people how to open their own business oh like, so entrepreneur yeah she says like we, you have a, a, a college from dentist college from law college for everything but you don't have a college for entrepreneurs and she yeah. opened it with wow. the, the help of anthony robinson so i don't need cost that's the girl but I want to know about you. So then yeah. I prepared on ChatGPT a couple of questions special to you. Nice. My best friend here, ChatGPT. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's great to know because <laughs> some people ask, oh, what kind of teacher teaches with the Google Translator opened? And nowadays, ChatGPT is way more <laughs> better than the Google Translator. So what kind of So teacher? much more advanced. Yeah, yeah. So all the questions, I want you to be sincere on that. I didn't read these new ones because I have prepared. Let's check it out. Let me show you. Okay. I make it here and said, make it better and funnier to create. Um ambiente mais descontraído em cima dessas perguntas. Because it was just too formal. And now we have a new version of a couple okay. of that I don't know yet. Okay. Nice. Let me accept Jerciane Medeiros da Costa. Oh, it's my mother. <laughs> it's your mother. Yes. What a responsibility. Wait a minute. Let me let's <laughs> I want to wait. She for doesn't her. speak English, but she's here. She does not speak English and she's attending. No. Yeah. <laughs> How do you think she's like feeling right now? Oh, she's very proud of me. Oh yeah? She yeah, she is. She's definitely. And she's also a teacher. So I think she's like my, my. What does she uh, teach? She, oh, she teaches like young kids oh. from, yeah, the fifth, fourth grade. So you have, you have that experience with uh, childhood that you're saying. Yes. Oh. I have um, a lot of my. Actually, I came from a family of teachers. Oh, My nice. mom and her sisters are teachers. <laughs> That's good to know. This is yes. important because you know how is the background. Mm -hmm. that sure. Is the most important. You know that the teacher is not only that figure inside of the classroom, and it has yeah. an entire life behind it. And yeah. that information pays us. <laughs> uh huh. And one thing about being a teacher is that you never stop learning. You have to be passionate about learning to be a good teacher. And yeah, I always see my my family learning and learning in a very simple, practical way. So you know what, what I like to say that I only became a teacher because I realized that when one person was 
trying to teach someone, two people mm-hmm. learn at that time. And it was like a trick of myself. Mm-hmm. If I teach my friend how to speak it, I'm going to improve my English. So yeah. in the beginning was for me, but then I liked yeah. to be a teacher, you know? I think yeah. I like to think of myself as a self-taught student, not a teacher. Me too. Me so, too, me too. Yeah, I like to. I like to already. That's it. Yeah. That's awesome. So to you, especially to you, I thought about it, like how I want this environment to be. And this is all to you. In a world where you could be anything, girl, you decided to become an English teacher. Yes. <laughs> Tell us your opinion and story. What magical forces <laughs> propelled you to apply to the superhero position? Oh, the superhero position. Yeah. Well, I loved learning and also teaching. I realized, like you, that I learned better when I was teaching other person. So I would love to, when I was a child, I would study with my friends and I would always play pretend and pretend that I was the teacher. So I would, yes, I would just teach everything we were seeing <laughs> at the school at the time. Something, something that you've just learned, you wanted to teach somebody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, I understand now. I can teach you. So I okay. was like, yes. And... It's like a, a teacher of one subject can be a teacher of any subject, right? Yeah. And <laughs> um, English was always a big part of my life. I, <clears throat> Sorry. I started okay. learning English when I was uh, 10 years old. And when I was 20, I was like, wow, I think it's time for me to share all the knowledge I have in in myself, so That's yeah. Nice. When I was, I, I it's been four years since then. I started when I was sixteen. Wow! Yeah, I'm thirty today. And the funny part of being a young English teacher was I was in the inside of the classroom since the first grade, elemental grade, high school, college. Then I went to Canada, graduated in Canada. And I never left the classroom. I never, oh. I never left school. But I fucking really? hate studying. <laughs> no, I, I'm an athlete. I, so I go into the gym. I think you hate the traditional way of studying, right? Yeah. The sitting in a classroom and yeah. having to watch someone do a monologue for a long time. It's not an active process. So it's boring. I don't like it. I, I hated school so much. <laughs> well, and... I, I fought with Bruna. We were discussing uh-huh. about that uh, college is not for intelligent people. Yeah. I, I, I said it and she disagreed with totally me. Totally agree. No, I totally agree. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Because when the person realizes, you know, what I'm doing with my life, they quit it. They, are, they become revolutionary people. They, it's always like that. So... <laughs> Okay, yeah. I don't want to I don't want to be polemic in here. Question number mm-hmm. two, what is your secret sauce of teaching English? That's it. Secret sauce. Like my sauce. secret sauce. Man, I like to personalize each class. So I think my secret sauce is learning my student, learning about my student. Um I have many students with many different interests, and one of them like really likes music. So mm-hmm. I'm, I will make sure that you are really interested in this class because we are going to talk about music. <laughs> and <laughs> okay, I think that is it. my, yeah. So you like being control of the students. Yeah. yeah you do, you do, because I also like yeah. to. I'm just you saying, could it say like that. There's sometimes <laughs> you prepare a song or lyric or something and you say, this mm-hmm. class is going to be the bomb. And mm-hmm. in the end, it is not because we end up, ended up talking about anything. And mm-hmm. at the end of the class, the students will be like, oh, that was the best class ever. And in your mind, you think that was not what I have prepared, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. That's the best True. class ever. I it, know happens. Like, it, it happens. It happens a lot. lot. <laughs> but when you when we prepare a class with music, lyric, and stuff, and people like it, mm-hmm. that's way better. When I taught at Fisk, it was like that, like 15 teenagers singing the same song. Aww. The entire classroom and the entire school was listening to that. Like this, these people are crazy. These people are having a, a good time. You know, instead of I, you, he, she. No, that's so boring, man. So boring, Can we get over it? 
Do you believe in the power of memes, movies, or sheer grammar research wiser dry? Yeah, totally. Totally. Memes are everything. <laughs> and it's really nice to um, discover new words. Oh, like, yeah. It's really good. And movies are essential. In learning English, they are ex essential. Do you know Night Gag? Unfortunately, not yet. That's it. Night Gagging <laughs> is the source yes. of all memes. <laughs> wait, wait. I, I came out here. People are talking. People are saying something. Let me mute. Hello, people. hello. Who is talking? I don't know. I came out here. Is I it my mom? I see. <laughs> <laughs> well. Please. Okay, Night, okay. Night Gag is like the source of the memes on the internet. We have videos. We got trains. Uh -huh. We got gifts. We got a lot of things in English. And every single post, every single video is something that went viral in the recent days, like a video from YouTube, uh, oh. Twitter. That's 90gad.com. One of the oldest and the most like complete meme subjects you're going to find. Mm -hmm. Search it. There's an app for Android. I'll... Yeah. Yeah, I'll do. Um, I'll totally do after the class. Yeah. We also have um, forums like what people are talking the trains and etc but oh it's good to find like specific memes like related to a book or mm -hmm. a tv show it's good to have the same people talking about i'm gonna send things. this to you where are you i'm gonna send in our group where is our group oh it's right here yeah it is there so you can see that later okay perfect next question uh experiencing in qual qualifications time to mm -hmm. spill the tea Share with us your adventures and Miss Adventures in, as an English teacher. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't think I have many teas to share, to spill, but <laughs> uh, I started using the books from the school I, I worked at. But after that, I would just, you know, do my best to teach what I know following um what i saw on the internet like um a1 type of um topics and i would just teach that to my students but i did a a course a test the the second one i always i Delta? have a problem with what? no the the first one sorry oh tuffle Tefl, yes, I have a problem with pronouncing this word. Uh, and how, what was your grade? Do you remember? No, unfortunately, I don't remember. I don't remember. It was a while too. ago. Yeah, but I, I, I thought it was a, a really good test, and I, I still use it. What I learned well, uh, during well, the as we were talking about that, that's the second question. What's in yeah. your teaching toolkit? What are, what oh. are your certifications? Uh, here is a tough old Celta, or perhaps a went for Hogwarts. Man, I don't want to tell you that, but it, it is a one from Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I use for teaching. <laughs> yes, I just you can just create spells. You have and... a witch over here. Yes, <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> nice to know. I promised Bruna that I'm gonna I'm gonna watch it with her, but. I don't know where and when. It's you, just a promise. You, you've never watched Harry Potter? I have never watched Harry Potter. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe it. This, no, this no. is offensive to me. I always slept. <laughs> oh, no. Seriously. But I think that was my mistake. Like, playing it too late at night. Mm. You know, starting to watch it like 11 at night. Yeah. It's probably your fault. Yeah, but yeah. do you like reading? Do you enjoy I, I reading? Do, I do. I read every day. Well, I recommend you all of the seven books because they were like the most magical thing I've ever read in my life. No, hold on And a I've second. read a lot of books. Watching it's okay, but you want me to read all the seven first books of Harry Potter? I think that's, that's too much. Yes. It's fucking bigger they... than the Bible. <laughs> no, they are not. They're not bigger than the Bible. No, I've read um, the Bible. <laughs> yeah, not not the whole Bible, but you know the oh my god, Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. I've read the the first two books, and that was a dense reading. It was intense reading, and yeah, that felt like reading the Bible. 
So I Harry like Potter to, is nothing compared to that. I like <laughs> reading biographies. I, I, mm. I, I can spend hours and hours reading something, listening to some audiobook too, or even okay. uh, watching movies. But mm -hmm. <laughs> something like Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings reading, I can't do mm. it. Uh, what, what was the last uh, biography that you've read? Mm. I like... I like people from the stories of uh, Anthony Robbins. Mm. You know, I like uh, Gary Vaynerchuk a lot. They are all entrepreneurs. They're all visionaries. They're all like um, lecture people that talk to yeah. a lot of people. You know, mm -hmm. I also like the classics like Dale Carnegie, uh, mm -hmm. Napoleon Hill. I like also, oh, uh, fuck, I forgot his name. Albert Camus. Mm. You know? I'll, I'll pretend I know all of these people you're <laughs> oh, talking about. I like philosophers, <laughs> philosophers like uh, sophists, uh, old teachers, or people nice. that created some ideology, you know, or some study yes. of some, some... I engage a lot with sophist um, m mindset, I think. They... It sounds so great to me. If, you for, if it is for me to get into some mythological stuff, I like playing RPG a lot. Mm. You know? <laughs> so yeah. if it's about RPG, then we're going to spend lots of time talking. I like the magician and magical stuff. Yeah. Regarding playing games. But reading, I prefer... Not so much. Not so much. I find it really hard to find um, friends, at least here where I live, Dad likes to play RPG. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit sad. Nerd, nerd stuff, right? I know. Yeah. I know it's like, I'm kind of nerd too. But, you know, I, I'm an athlete, so I like being in contact with that thing. I like like mm -hmm. jumping and being around, not only only reading. I'm way more into audiobooks and podcasts. Long podcasts yeah, than yeah podcasts, I think, was... It was one of the best things that the human created because I can be like cooking my food and learning about astronomy or learning about economics. And it's just amazing. I recommend it. This is for everyone. You have to watch, pod, uh, to listen to podcasts. Yeah. This is yeah. very important. Yeah. I really. start, started listening to podcasts when podcasts were, were not like flow podcasts or pod mm -hmm. pod podcasts. Was like yeah. an, uh, old stuff to do. That I would. Mm -hmm. I used to listen to Cafezinho Brasil. Do you know? No, oh, no. Jovem Nerd. No. Awesome. <laughs> uh, MRG. And not really. So all, all I... the old podcasts, like dinosaur yeah. podcasts for the internet. The one of the first. One of the first, like one hour of a podcast, like six, seven, mm -hmm. eight years ago. This wow. Movie. Yeah, like podcasts. People were like. Are you listening to radio? <laughs> I was like, no, that's a podcast. What is a podcast? No. <laughs> I, I should teach One day you're what it's like. Yeah. Well, in a particular tribe of learners, I mean, age groups or pro proficiency level, mm -hmm. you vibe with the most mm. beings on the way. Well, I, I, I like to say that I love um, beginners. It's just, they have my heart, you know. It's their first contact with English, mm. so I want to make it feel good, and I want to make them feel curious about what, what you can see more, what, mm. what else there is to, to learn. So I really engage with them, but I also like the more like intermediate to advanced because they can already talk, so I can explore and help them talk more and become more and improve, let's say like that. You end up being more memorable. Like my first English teacher was Yasmin. Oh, really? It's like that. Because if you want to, to teach you like the, the basic. Yeah, yeah. This is true. I have, I have two students. They are... One is 12 years old and the second one is 14. And I am their first English teacher. So I, I'm like, I feel honored because I know that whenever they are 
you know, studying English, they're going to remember me and say, oh, yeah. teacher used to say that. You should, you should. <laughs> You should yeah, think this way really because good. people gonna remember you just like that. That's one, yeah. one of the things that comes from liking teaching people from people from zero. Mm -hmm. But what happens when you have like an advanced? I don't know if you wanna have like this kind of student, but when you have an advanced mm -hmm. student wanting to learn more with you, and the first time you see the student, you realize mm -hmm. that the student knows more than he thinks or she thinks. Yeah. What What do you do? Um, I try to show them that they know more by, I think sometimes they have a lot of knowledge, but it's just disorganized. So I try to show them that they know a lot of things and put them in order so they can create a, something with that, a big picture of their language. No, then you become their psychologist. Yeah, <laughs> this is true. And it is, it is true. I'm saying that. I've been yeah. teaching for like 16 years. Mm -hmm. 16 years teaching that. People come, like sometimes look at you as their psychologist. Sometimes they say, yeah. you know, I just come here to talk to you because I like you. Yes. I had an advanced student and she got engaged at the same time as me. So it was really quite you're like, an experience. You're there, like talking, talking a lot. Yes. Like what now? I've spent two years teaching something, something, anything to a guy uh -huh. that came up to me speaking English. Hmm. He came up like speaking English, like hey, dude, wow. I, I want to practice my English then. And so that was two years having the same students, the same classroom, two classes per week. And well, I've made a lot of money with him. But the thing is, he came to me speaking English. So I taught him <laughs> so many things that I didn't know that I had to study before that, that I had to yeah. specialize. That was fucked Advanced up. Advanced students, they they make you study more. <laughs> yeah, they oh, like, they obey, oh, 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 let's say, it's obey. It's not obey. No. They obey you. They obey you. They obey you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they obey you to be better. So we got an obligation uh, to be better. They they <laughs> humble you. You can say like that. <laughs> <laughs> Teaching methodology. I I already got it. Your idea, but here we go. Mm -hmm. Imagine that your students are from different planets. How do you plan your lesson to cater to these diverse alien minds? One wow. is like a K-pop student. Another is like um, uh, I don't know a bodybuilder oh nice you described my two students <laughs> <laughs> yeah seriously seriously <laughs> seriously <laughs> well um i always try to ask first so i, I pretend i know nothing about k-pop because i don't <laughs> so <laughs> not difficult. That is not difficult. Yeah, I just ask a lot and I try to bring always curiosities and activities that include describing them. Which one sings best? Which okay. one is the, the funniest? You and... ask a lot of questions that you wouldn't ask if they were not paid to you. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> because I have I have no interest in K-pop, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, in fact i do have interested in gym so in healthy life so i talk a lot of, with my student about it oh how do i get in shape <laughs> yeah oh how many repetitions should i do in an exercise <laughs> okay today today's thing is going to be diets tell me more about diet how do you eat what are the things that you eat? Today? Yes, <laughs> please write down in details your routine. Exactly, but I want it exactly. How many yeah. eggs per day? Yes, <laughs> please, please. Well, that's nice. That's nice. This <laughs> happens. This happens a lot. Well, and I would answer. I would answer this one with ChatGPT. How do you know defer, and how do you plan? You know to cater mm -hmm. to cater this diverse alien mind. Cater. Chat GPT. Chat GPT, definitely. <laughs> in the ever expanding digital universe, how do you beam up technology into your teaching method? We are talking about it. We're talking about it. So, hit yeah. It. Oh, wow. Um, uh, Chat GPT is the, one of the, the greatest things that happened in my life. <laughs> I use it every day and I use it for everything. And it's just, it's impossible not to use it. But um, I also try to include other things. 
like songs, um, videos, and these include um, YouTube technology, or right? Netflix. Uh, YouTube. It's been a while since I've watched something in Netflix. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just asking, just asking, because if you say YouTube, you are more into real videos, real situations, background, yes. selfies, etc. If you say Netflix, I know that you like more produced videos with your Hollywood stuff and production, you know? Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I also love... love YouTube. Yeah, I used to love that when I was younger. So I think I, I watched... Um, a lot of TV shows enough for a lifetime. So I don't think I need to watch it now anymore. <laughs> How old are you? 24. <laughs> ah, you have a lot. I think the future, the future, it is like watching streaming for everyone. Yes. It, it or maybe we're going to watch like super, um, like you're going to interact a lot with the scenes. So you're going to put your glasses and yeah watch everything yeah you were so. more prepared for this universe than me but i've been seen in it with the creation of technology since first <laughs> you know <laughs> you know we are different but we have the same taste for technology i believe that they like the metaverse but not the metaverse we're going to have mm. social media related to a game where people are going to play mm. no they're going to play their socials like yeah. have, have an instagram having a facebook have a YouTube that's going to be so normal that there's, there's going to be a coin there that everybody wants yeah. to have it too. It is normal. Yeah. To Having one million is. subscribers is normal. Yes, it is. It's <laughs> not something to be proud of, no. even though you've put a lot of work into getting them. <laughs> yeah. It's but more everyone, common to see. Even if you like sell breads on the corner of your, yeah. your, your street, you know, you want mm -hmm. to have more people look into your product you want yeah. more people to listen to your voice. So the future is for those who are doing the th same things you're doing right now, like talking to the camera, yeah. connecting to people wherever they are. Yeah. I don't know, man. I, fe I feel weird about technology because I, I still have the mindset of a person who lives in Greece <laughs> in the... <laughs> in like before Christ was born, like something yeah. like that, because... I don't know. I it's just. I also it's, think this way. I think sometimes that I'm yeah. a Viking. Yeah. But the thing is, you look like one. I'm. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that. It's, 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 it's like stylish, but the thing is, I think <laughs> at the same time that I need to be over the technology, do using yeah. them, in order for them not to use me in the future. Yeah, I do believe that. I wanna. It's I know. Important. I wanna know how to control it. But I especially want to know how to live without it, too. So I have a balanced, like, some, today I went to the beach, only to yeah. be at the beach. I didn't want to do yeah. anything, not even to get into the ocean, nothing. I was like, I want to be here looking mm -hmm. straight to the ocean. That was the thing that mm -hmm. I prepared to do this afternoon, you know? <laughs> yeah. The, yeah more, the more human you can be after technology, this technological world, I think the better for your health. Totally, totally. Sometimes I just, I, I'm that, that type of person. I wake up at 5 a.m. and I just sit in my balcony listening to the birds and doing nothing. That's like great. just being a human for a few moments just before like, I get into I my it. computer. <laughs> I liked it. I, I, I talked about it today with Bruna. I was like, listen to the birds. I said, I said, listen to the birds. That reminded me of my hometown. Well, when, I spent like two years at Curitiba was awful you know mm -hmm. traffic and the cars and pollution yeah. and it was fucked up how do you crack the code to assess your students um students progress without turning into his news fest oh that is a hard one to to answer let me think a little bit about it like how to do you crack the code to assess your students progress i usually i try to make him create his own sentences so if i know if he understand the concept he will be able to um create the right sentences but if he doesn't understand then there is something missing if he can't properly use the verb to be we have to go back a little a few steps to go down a little steps and then we can return to the 
to where we are, we are at the moment. <laughs> What do you like better? Challenges mm. to students or homework? Um, homework, but sometimes I make the homeworks really challenging <laughs> in, on, on purpose. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. got it. Because no, I say that if I if I apply a homework, you say got a homework to hand me next week. I know that the student is not going to do it. Yeah. So sometimes I'll be like, if I were you, I would do it. If you don't want to do it, it's okay. I'm just like an yeah. image on your computer. I'm not your father. But mm -hmm. I did it to learn English. I don't yeah. know about you. I speak English. But if you yeah. want to learn, <laughs> I'm like convincing people yeah. you know, to do what I want them to do. But it's not uh, like, hey, you're going to do this. It's not like that. Per very per persu persuasive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Persuasive, yes. <laughs> Adaptation and problem solving. If you, uh, if your teaching style was a video game, how would you level up to engage students, uh, who are interested in the social feeds, in their social feeds? I didn't understand. Did you understand? Uh, not really. Is it related to social media? Let me see it again. If your teaching style was a video game, if right, it's a possibility. How would you level up, like? I don't know, process and engage the students and make to be engaged in who are mm -hmm. more interested in their social feeds. I didn't understand this one. I think it's like, um, how would I help them to use their social feeds to like play the game? Social feeds, like socials, internet? No, like social um, ability, skills. Oh, all right. To work, to play the game. Oh, the yeah, team. yeah. Their skills that makes sense now because if it was a teaching, you're not okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like I use the bad builder and what was the other person that had uh, the K-pop. The K-pop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. How will you make the 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 K-pop fan and the body builder to engage in the same subject? Engage in the same sub subject. Yeah. Man, that's yes. hard. Sometimes you gotta teach the same subject to different people. Back to me. Yeah, yeah, true, true. Um, wow. If I need to give examples, I try to put something that they like inside the the examples. Um, or make them answer me in a way that they are showing me something that they like. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> that that's was a, why... a really. That's Good why question. we love ChatGPT. Yeah. Because if you say like, create different sentences related to bodybuilding and a K-pop fan uh -huh. with verb to be sentences, uh -huh. one click of something that we cannot even relate is going to be created. Yeah. <laughs> It's, It's really so... good to expand your mind. Yeah, to mix up things different, right? Sure. Share, share a tale of a time when technology decided to take a holiday. There. Oh, well, what is it? I th yeah, a tale of a time when the technology was not working, probably. <laughs> During your online class. <laughs> And how you turn into a tech wizard to save the day. Oh, once my... I, I used... To... Do you know Figma? Let me ask you first that. Do okay. you know Figma? Yeah, Figma. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Is that it you're talking? Yeah. Awesome. Exactly. I don't know. I don't know. É uma das ferramentas mais avançadas quando o assunto é construção de interfaces digitais. I don't know it. Yeah, it's a, it's like an app for a computer and people use it usually to create uh the Like mind map. Not yeah, you can do mind maps, but every single website that you can enter can be created on uh, Figma. And it I had a moment in my life where I was studying design, like internet and website design, and I learned how to use Figma. So I use Figma every day in my classes because you can I can make like my own design of classes it's really versatile oh, so that's once like a whiteboard yeah like a whiteboard oh, with right. inf infinite possibilities like it's 
It's amazing. Well, it's you really... gotta send me later on then for me to yeah, see. Yeah, sure. Yes. I will send you the link. It's perfect. To eat. I think you will like it. Are you a visual person? Do you do you consider yourself yeah, a visual person? Yeah, yeah, I am. I am. I am. I, oh, okay. You were saying that I studied some design stuff, but I didn't follow it, and mm -hmm. I copied it. When when you started saying, I was like, man, it's just like the whiteboard, the digital whiteboard I used to use at Fisk, but I was like, ah. giant. Yeah like a physical, physical whiteboard one. yeah i then had I was that like, well, i'm gonna copy this sentence then i copied it and, then, and i duplicated it but with the hands i felt like tony stark you know uh -huh, <laughs> yeah uh, we had cinema. that in my school in canada we had that whiteboard awesome. like everywhere it was it was nice yeah so mm -hmm. i need i needed to i couldn't like i, I it it wasn't working pro and I had to, and I, I didn't have another option to do the class. So I just used the notes from my <laughs> computer. I know. And I it know. worked. Yeah, it, works it worked out fine. Well. Yeah. Because the, the less the better, fine. right? Because sometimes you just want the person to read one, one word, for example. Mm -hmm. for yes. <laughs> for example. It's, it's sample. Oh, shit. Yeah, <laughs> simple. Yeah, simple. Are you seeing it? Yeah. Sometimes there are some students that if you go like more than that, sometimes mm -hmm. that's all only the only thing you need to teach people like it is oh, it is not like simply, it is sample. For example, yeah. you say them and you can spend like Minutes, hours doing it. Okay. Yes. Next two with words. many different words. <laughs> yeah, I know it. Sometimes less bad, less is better. But I want to know this Figma stuff because I'm tired of being the same shit always. You know, like you yeah. know the whiteboard of the Zoom mm -hmm. is excellent, and the new features are awesome too. So I think mm -hmm. I'm only using a Zoom because he's constantly updating itself since I started using it. I know oh, there are a lot of free stuff way better than Zoom, but mm -hmm. what I want there is on uh, on Zoom too. They have what is necessary for you to yeah. create an incredible class. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, you no. Know, what makes the class is the students. You don't even open any whiteboard. You just talk, talk, and talk, talk a lot. Yeah. There's that connection. So sometimes you learn more than the student. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like what was what was today's class all about? I don't know. I ask the group a lot. Tell me, yeah. ask me, what was the class all about? What was the class all about? I don't know. <laughs> you talked about everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, here we go. International skills is this one. No, problem solving. No, let's go for the future plans and professional development. Oh, yeah. Future plans. We have plans. only 16 minutes to finish. And I think this one is a good one. Oh, fast yeah, forward it's... five years. The classic question. Where are you in your grand scheme of online English teaching? Oh, what do you want to know? Mm. Where do you want to see yourself in five years? Something like that. Yeah, the classic question. Um, yeah, I already... my I was talking with my fiancé these days. He was like... He was telling me that I should start investing in creating videos of myself with inter inter artificial intelligence. Wow. So I, it would not be me talking. They would have my voice and my face and they would teach for me. That's awesome. Like in a video. That's awesome. Yeah. And I was thinking, wow, that is incredible because I could like help people but not be at present at the moment so maybe in five years i would probably do something like that like really more modern way of teaching but i do like create do your own way. avatar yeah but we don't even know right maybe in five years the word would be like a big mess we don't know yeah. i hope not yeah i'm really i hope not but if it comes to that i will be teaching in person no matter what <laughs> teaching is what in, what is important <laughs> yeah you're right you said something that is really uh, serious we don't know if it's going to be a mess yeah. or if it's going to be here the, mm -hmm. the, there are rolling uh, a lot of wars right yes a lot of wars a lot of uh, i don't know illness again 
some people say that COVID is back with in some regions, but the thing is, uh, the weather is fucked up. It's been hotter and hotter, and we don't yeah. know until where we're going to like you know, keep pol polluting the planet and doing stuff we were doing. Yeah. I'm more into this stuff when I came to Floripa, that is an island. And we have mm -hmm. different planets in the same region because mm -hmm. uh, January, February, and March, December. Actually, we say the height, the high period when we have a lot of uh -huh. we have a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of traffic, a lot of pollution, and we see how different it is now that uh, it is like end of March, for example. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. like preserving the nature, preserving preserving the beaches. You know, people yes. come here like as tourists. And sometimes we see that people just want to party. They threw their their trash wherever they want, and it's like yeah. as we are in, on the streets interviewing people, we see everything. Yeah, <laughs> we see everything. We're like, man, I imagine people are disgusting, <laughs> and that's one of the reasons that I do not appear on the videos. I like mm -hmm. talking with specific people on long conversations. Mm -hmm. Juliana is doing short conversation. With uh -huh. random people on the streets, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. different, different worlds. Well, there you go. How do you keep up your uh, teaching mojo fresh and exciting with the latest gizmos and pedagogies? Gizmos, gizmos. Gizmo. I don't know this word. We we just learned a new word now. That's GPT trying to be fun. Yeah. But uh, how do you keep your teaching fresh? Like, how do you keep yourself fresh? And excited. Um, How don't don't you get bored with all the same things again, again, again? Well, um, <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of weird because I, I always I am not a person that likes repetitive things, and I have a really controversial things to say here is that I don't use, um. What is the name of the app that you use? Duolingo. I don't use Duolingo. And I personally don't like Duolingo because it makes you repeat the same stuff you already learned 100 times. And I just want to move on, you know? And mm -hmm. it won't allow me to move on until I completed this 100 repetitions. So, yeah, I think to keep myself excited about something, it can't be something repetitive. So I always try to change the class. Maybe the examples I use, maybe the way I speak, maybe the text I use, but each each of my classes, they are different from one another because I cannot deal with something repetitive. If the person misses it, if she misses it. Yeah. It that was one unique class. <laughs> okay, you will not see another class. <laughs> I agree. I agree with you. That's nice. Oh uh, well, I believe that the GPT are relating to us here. This guild. Yeah. Like, what are your grand plans for leaving up the teachers' guild? Leveling yeah. up. Leveling, leveling up. Leveling up. What are your grand plans for leveling up the in the teachers' guild? Uh, what do you mean? Myself? I, be up? I believe that it is about you. Yeah, like having, having, having more students, having more relevance. Like there are some students mm. that appear has, uh, here to us asking to have uh, like classes with a specific teacher. I want to have classes with that teacher. Oh, and what are your grand plans for leveling up? Well, I I want to keep learning, you know. I want to keep learning different methodologies and different ways of making the learning process less boring because I know sometimes it can be boring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I want to maybe someday start creating content. Who knows? That's what I wanted to know. You could do this, something like that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Any kind I wanted... of content, actually. I, I'm not into it anymore. I was once. But I think mm -hmm. if you want if you want to record any video and send to me and I upload it on my public, people are gonna watch it. Yeah, probably. My, my public loves English content. 
but I don't like being there anymore. Oh, today I brought to you five words in English. No, I didn't. I, mm -hmm. I don't want yeah. to do it. There are five words that there are a lot, no, of, no, a lot no. of words. Because everybody does it. And I don't like do, to do what everybody's doing. It. Yeah, I understand that. And, and when I saw your profile, I was like, that is unique. You can't <laughs> see people doing that. And that is very important, man. I well, always recommend. You know what? You want to know why it is that? I no. took me out of my own stuff. Mm. I took out of my name. That was Johnny English in the in the past, not speaking mm -hmm. English. But I was mm -hmm. like, who's Johnny? God damn, who the hell is Johnny? <laughs> you know, and I wanted to relate us here into the sentence, do you speak English? Yeah. Every time someone listened to do you speak English, they would remember us. And yes. they would remember that we are teachers teaching English. And yes. so speaking English was something. John English was anything. And I realized the more I put people in the center, people mm -hmm. in the center, not me, more interesting yeah. my content would be. Because nobody's doing what? Putting random and simple people in the center. They are putting yeah. themselves in the center. Look at me. Hey, Ma, look at me. Mm -hmm. I'm a teacher. I can teach you something. Everybody can teach anything if they really want. And yeah, actually, they, didn't, they don't teach shit. People learn. I don't teach you anything. You learn if you want. You know, so you I can. gave up. I gave up on teaching. And I was like, oh, it is English content you want to see. Let's see how do people, Brazilian people, really speak English. And what do they think about their English? And that was the source of the interviews. You know? Uh -huh. And I don't want to be involved with that shit anymore. <laughs> Leave me that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. And what you do is very important. I always say to my students, if you're watching the video, try to answer the same questions they are asking as they are interviewing you. Pretend mm -hmm. they are interviewing you and answer the questions. Be creative. <laughs> try to answer in a different way every single video. <laughs> you know, I the, really like the, it. the funniest thing you're saying is right now, that reminds me the day I sat and I, I took like a pen, and I was like, what, what are the questions I want these interviews to have? Uh -huh. you know, then I started, and then I started, oh, how did you learn your English on purpose? I know that's not common to say, but when I say your English in, in this velocity, how did you learn your English? Those who do not know how to speak English are going to be like, fuck, what? So do you speak English? Yes, I do. What's your name? Okay. How did you learn your English? Is something out of the common way of asking, but it's yeah. correct. It is correct. It is. And if it somebody's is. like, oh man, what? That's the real thing. You know, like, show uh -huh. me what you got. That's what I'm saying, actually. Show me what you got, motherfucker. All right. And I still have one to 10. <laughs> How badass you think you are? And <laughs> another thing is, another thing is like, in a scale of one to 10, compared to whom? In a scale of yeah. one to 10, does not exist. You can say six. Yeah. But everybody oh, yeah. says six. So <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't really matter, you know. <laughs> and you know, I other just... thing that I was saying, it is really uh -huh. easy to go on interviews and see one minute of an random conversation and go on and comment and say, Oh, this person does not speak in English because this and that and that. But uh -huh. look at to these videos that I am recording right now with you. It has one fucking hour and see how yeah. many people are going to watch it. Yeah, true. Few, 100, 200, 300. Because mm -hmm. they are public in here, but the comments are way different. They, they don't come in here because they don't have any capacity enough to watch or to participate of one hour conversation. So people yeah. are shallow. They 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 like what is short, what is easy. Short. You know. Yeah. <laughs> this is what what the the word is all about, right? Fast, uh, fast, easy, quick. Like just come, watch, go. And scroll up, scroll down. <laughs> and the more they think this way, the more students we're going to have. Yeah. They're going to be lazy. They're going to, they, mm -hmm. they're going to, uh, they're going to um, want uh, to have things fast. And it is not fast that you're going to achieve. No, it's a process. It is a process. I, I've spent at least four years of my life to go from zero to like, where intermediate right talking yeah um, where I am right now it's mostly because I dedicated myself I focused and I, I was like I need to learn this and I am going to learn this but 
naturally, if I would like just to learn with like not really that much interest, it would take me a lot of uh, a long time to <laughs> get where I am now. <laughs> So well, focus. But you are a little privileged because you had teachers on your house. Yes, yes, this is true. This I is have true. teachers. I have you to talk with. <laughs> yeah, we have. Uh, uh, here. That's nice. Yes, and we have a really amazing community where you can talk. You, we, guys, you have a group, an amazing group on WhatsApp, uh -huh. where you can ask a lot of teachers. You can even send like text or your doubts, your questions, anything. So interact. You you have no excuses not to be fluent in English this year. You have no excuses. You have so Johnny, too. you have me, mm -hmm. you have this amazing community. So please focus. <laughs> What would you say for those who want to learn English? <laughs> oh, I always say believe in yourself. Because I already do. And this is true. I do believe that you can be fluent in English. Now it's your time to believe in yourself. Yeah. I, I would say have classes with Yasmin. Oh. You have to learn English. Well, if you have to yeah. learn English. I was like, she's going to sell her fish now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And do believe in yourself in my classes. Yeah. Because if you don't believe in yourself, a uh, teacher cannot do anything to you. Yeah. Unfortunately, I cannot. If the student's yeah. like, ah, it's not for me. I, I don't like it. Yeah. I don't teach this person. If the person says, I don't like it, so fuck you. I'm not gonna teach you because I don't. What are I'm you not, doing here? I'm not. Yeah, I'm not here to teach you something that you don't like. Yeah, I don't, I don't deserve no, no. it. Well, no, no. That's it. I ask. I say it every time that I'm going to finish something. Mm -hmm. I believe that it is this something. The unique thing, you know, the only thing a teacher can say to a student or for anybody who is listening, that is true for real. You can search on Google. There's no contradictions on that. There are sequence of devices, but mm -hmm. but when I when I say it, I finish it because that's the last things I say in the entire classes in the last 16 years. Before I say them, do you have anything to say? For those who are here today and for those who are watching you? Um, yeah, I don't think so. I think I've talked enough. If you want to talk more with me, please book a class. Talk with Johnny. Talk with Bruna. And let's be my student. It's your turn. <laughs> It's your time, guy. <laughs> nice, nice. I liked it. Well, as I always say, I just say that you shall not, do not mix up for drugs. No. Gangs. Mm -hmm. Alcoholic drinks. Yeah. Cigarettes. And Brazilian songs. Especially the last one. 